My name is Graham McLeod. I'm an NHS consultant at NHS Tayside and I am Honorary Professor of Anaesthesia at the University of Dundee. I conduct translational multidisciplinary research divided between the Centre for Anatomy and Human Identification here at the University of Dundee, uh, bioengineering at the University of Dundee and bioengineering at Herrick Watch University. I worked with Dr Mohamed Sadiq many years ago at the University of Dundee. We recognised that our trainees had a great deal of difficulty aligning needles with the ultrasound transducer when trying to target peripheral nerves for regional anaesthesia block. In particular, they had difficulty seeing the tip of the needle and often went past the nerve. That's important because that could cause damage. Our innovative solution was to make the needle much more salient by vibrating a needle longitudinally and using colour Doppler. That way we were able to see the tip of the needle as well as the shaft and align the needle better along the transducer and target the needle better. This new technology has implications for radiology and surgical practice as well as anaesthetic practice. The principles of needle insertion are the same in all specialties. It's vitally important that when targeting a tissue that the needle has perfect alignment with the ultrasound transducer and one is able to see the needle tip. The needle can be directed towards the target accurately and in such a way that an accurate biopsy can be taken in the knowledge that the needle tip is within the target. Other applications include ultrasound guided regional anaesthesia, amniocentesis and varicose vein surgery. The NHS benefits both in terms of cost and of time. Only one operator is required rather than two and the number of needle insertions is much reduced because the needle tip is accurately seen. Therefore, this has the potential to lead to much fewer biopsies and therefore increases patient safety. There is no doubt in my mind that this needle is easier to see on an ultrasound screen. Having used it both for simulated regional anaesthesia and for biopsy on the soft and band teal cadaver, I'm absolutely convinced that this presents a real advance in safety for needle interventions. We may be able to improve the learning curves of trainees in all specialties who are using ultrasound for needle intervention. That doesn't mean to say that it's simply a tool for learners. As an experienced consultant, I found that it's actually improves my performance as well. Not all of us are perfect and get it right every time. And therefore having a colour aid in, which helps us target a tumour or a nerve invariably improves the performance of all clinicians.